Hey everyone, thank you so, so, so much for clicking on this video. The fact that you are willing to sacrifice a few minutes out of your day to consume my content really does mean the world to me. Today we've got a very, very exciting interview planned and once again we are struck by load shedding or at least some sort of power cut. So unfortunately my studio is not looking phenomenal right now so I'm just going to be filming this interview in the lounge. But guys, I'm joined by Marcel who is the director for the King Louis music video and of course we're going to be talking about this in the South African Independent Film Festival. Very, very exciting stuff. But Marcel, thank you so, so, so much for joining me today. Thanks for having me, man. It's good to be here. Like I said, I love, I love curiosity. I love curious people, and we love hearing from other creatives in the industry. So, uh, yeah, let's start it off, man. Uh, what do you wanna, what do you wanna find out? What are you curious about? So, actually, originally, you've already answered one of my questions, and that was gonna be question number one. So, I'm gonna through the power of editing throw that clip right in here. It was, uh, it was me together with Andrew Kent that wrote this story. Uh, well, you know, a, a lot of inspiration came from the song, obviously. That's how we tend to do music videos. Um, yeah, wrote it uh, with, obviously, as South Africa goes, the budgets aren't extensive. So you have to keep that in mind when uh, writing the story, you know. And uh, and Kent being such a influential artist in Namibia, uh, we wanted to essentially portray him as the Prince of Namibia, as some people call him. Um, but with, yeah with themes of loneliness and, uh, and, uh, and, and boredom coming through in the film. But something you said was, was really, really cool. You said you like to, um, you've worked on multiple different music videos, which, and, and so I want to know from, from your perspective, what set this one apart? Oh, well, with music videos, that's, let me just start at the start. We started with music videos about, you know, 25 years ago. That was what kind of got us in the industry in the first place. It's just the love of music and the love of video and the mediums combined in this magical art form. Yeah, I've always loved it, man. And then we get to work with some of the best artists around and obviously uh, use their music for our films. It's, uh, it's been a pleasure so far. So, yeah, we've made a lot of music videos. What set this one apart? Well, it was the, it was the first music video we've made for a, for a Namibian artist. Sorry, I, I'm Afrikaans came out there completely. First uh, music video for a Namibian artist, Andrew Kent, also known as I'm Rescued. Uh, and uh, well, it, I think it was maybe our first or second video done for a Christian artist. So it is a, it is a predominantly Christian song and artist. Uh, so that uh, came with its, uh, you know, its own challenges. Um, <clears throat> and then, uh, and what, and yeah, well, just, uh, and the song, we haven't worked with like an indie hip hop music style yet, but uh, we're excited to do so because, I mean, that is kind of uh, the sound of the time that we're in at the moment. Um, so that was also exciting, you know, so it was a new genre, a new kind of country, uh, local and uh and and uh, religious that comes with its with its own challenges um and so we had to write a story that kind of combined all of these into one and this is, is essentially what we got to well as i mentioned earlier then we got to this video themed around uh boredom about uh being alone and uh and about bearing the weight of the world on your shoulders, as uh, as as you can see in the video, whereas it, it speaks to what is wealth really? You know, when are one is when is one rich? Is it when you have a big house, or is it when you have a lot of stuff, or is it when your heart is truly full? Is it when you are helping people? These are these are themes that we were playing with um yeah all coming together in the video i hope it comes through so i love what you said that you were talking about the themes especially about the themes of money what does it mean to be rich um learning of course the artist is of course also christian that's something that you know christianity speaks about a lot and something that people don't actually realize is one of the things that jesus spoke about most was in fact money so that, that is a cool little little tangent we went on there. But I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. This wasn't originally on my, my list of questions or anything like that, but you brought up that there were difficulties surrounding the religious aspect of it. What were some of those difficulties you, you came across? Was it just because there were specific imageries that you guys tried to avoid? Is it because you couldn't you know, follow the stereotypical music videos in regards to like girls and clubs and stuff like that? 
what were some of the the different you know like barriers that you couldn't cross and stuff like that yeah i think you're hitting it on the on the spot there you know it's comes with its challenges of uh, not being promiscuous, for example, or not going too dark as what we're kind of used to, you know, uh, bringing out the, the dark side of, of, of humanity. That's something, that's like an overarching theme that we usually play with. And that's usually exciting, whereas this one had to be slightly lighter in a way, you know, uh, to a different audience that is essentially also predominantly Christian. And so we try to bring themes of Christianity along with a, uh, a darker kind of morbid uh, tone to the film. You know, it is essentially about uh, boredom, isolation, uh, you know, what is wealth. And so these are, these are essentially kind of melancholic uh, feelings, you know, and themes that we were playing with. So that was the challenge, kind of merging this, this, this this godliness, this very light heartedness uh, that we wanted to get across. And like I said, for Christianity, for Andrew, for the audience, but then uh, kind of mix this in with uh, a kind of a darker, morbid, melancholic tone that uh, we are usually used to. So I just have to say, watching the video is just a delight. It's an absolutely stunning video. The cinematography is beautiful. The colors are so vibrant. It looked like it was actually just a really, really fun video to shoot as well. Do you have any fun anecdotes about filming or any specific shots that were your favorites to, to direct? Yeah, well, so this one, well, we worked with a, with a, with a good uh, DP, Kevin Schneider, and we had a great stylist, Natasha Als, that, uh, you know, that was a crucial part of the team. They kept the energy alive on set, you know, uh, who they, we had an assistant, uh, Baz Bailey and Jeffrey... Um, that Jeffrey Moffat, that, um, you know, that, that all really brought a vibe to set. Reniku from uh, the, the head of our post-production, uh, my business partner and head of post, he was also there ensuring that, uh, you know, each shot is ready for uh, VFX afterwards because it is quite VFX heavy. Um, but overall, I think, you know, as you're saying, how did I... How did we ensure that there was good, uh, you know, good vibes on set? Essentially, I think that came part of the, uh, the the writing process. Whereas I wanted somewhere that we can completely focus on the film and the story, and that's why the location was was really crucial in this case. Uh, I, I, that was probably the that took the longest in this production was finding the right location, was finding a kind of uh, castle like. Uh, you know, palace that uh, that someone that has abundant amount of funds would be able to afford, you know. And uh, but in this case, that's what we try to try to tell in the story is that does that make one satisfied? Does that satisfy your needs? Is that enough? When is it enough? Um, is that something to live for? Is that something to strive for? Because in the film, you can see the character that Andrew plays essentially it isn't really enough for him and when is it enough but so yeah just to ensure good vibes on set it came along with writing the story finding a place that we could take our time with each shot and then having a good cast and crew to go along with that and uh yeah and good snacks on set always a always a good tip catering is is always the make or break of any sets i can guarantee you that much <laughs> Well, look, just before we close... Uh, I had to learn that the hard way. <laughs> I, the, yeah. <laughs> so just before we close, I just want to say, again, the project was phenomenal. I think everyone did an absolutely great job bringing it to life. But I want to know quickly, just before we close this interview, what's next for you? What do you have in regards to projects in the pipeline? And how can the subscribers or the viewers who are watching this interview, how can they follow you? Do you have Instagram, you know, all of these different social media platforms? Do you have a newsletter? Do you have a website? Just let everyone know how they can follow you and your journey. Thanks, man. Yeah, we're, you know, we've got a lot of commercials in the pipeline that uh, that tends to keep the lights on. Uh, commercials and corporate films. We've got uh, we've got some short films that we're working on. Uh, always got a music video in the making. At least one music video a year is kind of what keeps us alive. Really, it's what keeps the spirits up. Um, 
So, yeah, we're always busy with our video production company called Epitome Studios. You can find us on there on thisisepitome.com is our website. Uh, social media is the same thing. This is Epitome on all social medias. And I am Marcel Swanepoel. You can f- find me under the fake Marcel on all social medias. Yeah. and uh, But, yeah, we, we just love the, 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 we love the game of the video. We love the video game, you know. So we help out uh, fellow filmmakers wherever we can. Sometimes on a documentary, sometimes on a feature, sometimes on a music video or corporate film. Whatever needs our help to tell the right stories and to make an impact and to, you know, to shine a positive light on this morbid world. We're just trying to make it uh, a little... And we just try to bring out our dreams and create new dreams for those that don't have ones. Okay, then just one quick last one, okay? And I saw this when I, when I was busy emailing you and now you just brought it up again. So this is completely unrelated to everything. I just got to, I got to ask, why the fake Marcel? Yeah, because uh, that, that came from a long time ago when I was uh, maybe 13 years old. I used to always write it on my hand, on my right hand. Because every time I went and uh, greeted anyone, that I, used to, I used to write fake and with an arrow saying that you are fake. Everyone is essentially fake. That's what it means. And that is because I believe it's all about, uh, it's a game of translation. You know, it's, it's, some things always get lost in translation. Whenever anyone is uh, telling you an idea or telling you a story, that first has to go through your mind and you are interpreting it. You are interpreting the words that I say. So essentially, no one is 100% real when speaking to someone else. They are fake. And even though they are real, you are going to see them as something else. So uh, that's what I mean with the fake mark. Well, okay, hopefully 99.999% real Marcel who is on Google Meets with me. Thank you so, so, so much for joining me. I really do appreciate it. I know that we met at a very unorthodox time, but I do appreciate you putting the time into this interview. So guys, if you want to know more about the South African Independent Film Festival, you can check the description down below. But again, Marcel, thank you so, so, so much. Guys, if you want to follow him, all of his details are down in the description below. But man, you're great, you're awesome, you're amazing, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your night. Thank you so much, Caleb. I love the enthusiasm and, uh, and, and keep it alive, man. Keep the curiosity alive, please. Much appreciated. Thanks for having me on here.